We good? Yeah. All right. Three, two. Welcome back, Chargers. We hope you had a great weekend. I'm Melissa Argenbright. And I'm Gabby Powers. And, and you're, you're watching, watching DP News. News. DPEA Director Mr. Shire and former DPEA student Mad Madison Pickett have been invited to the second annual White House Next Generation High School Summit, taking place today in Washington, D.C. The event highlights everyone who is reinventing the high school experience to encourage students to seize opportunities in today's economy and prepare students for success in college and careers. Our first student senate will take place tomorrow, Tuesday, September 13th, during fourth period. We ask that all period four teachers allow them time on Thursday to report back to the class. Here's a video from Leadership About Senior Shirts. Hi. You're kind of cute. I was wondering if maybe you wanted to uh, go off campus sometime and get some lunch. Are you a freshman? Uh, no, I'm a senior. Where's your senior shirt? I didn't know where to get them. Right, next to the athletic office, three twenty-five. Oh, really? Oh, sweet. Yeah. What's up, Sam? Hi, what's up, bro? How you doing? Ooh, I like your senior shirt. Yeah, this got it. It's pretty nice. What a cool letter. Did you get lunch? Yeah, of course. Right now. Okay. Hey, you know me. Ooh. Dick, buddy. Come on, Kieran. Let's go to lunch. Come on. Hey, bro, put a shirt on. All right. Thanks, bro. For 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Sweet. And you get a free lanyard. No way. Yeah, dude. Sweet. Seniors. Buy a shirt. Go. Guys, seniors, make sure to get all of your class of 2017 gear. The first beautified DP of this year is taking place this Saturday, September 17th from 9 a.m. to noon. National Honor Society members can use two hours of this to satisfy their community service requirements. Sign up outside of Mrs. Stone's office. Yesterday marked the 15th anniversary of the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001. Local schools along the Young Americas Foundation organized the 9-11 Never Forget Project at West Beach. Students and volunteers placed 2,977 American flags in the sand, one to represent each person lost in this tragedy. This memorial has taken place every year since 2003. The organizers said this event will continue each year to remember those lost and how our country was changed forever. Paige Maho and other fellow students held a Never Forget project this morning and placed 2,977 flags around campus in honor of each victim, just like at West Beach. DP Cash Club, the Dos Pueblos Geocaching Club, is having our first meeting of the year this Wednesday, September 14th at lunch in Miss Savia's room, Q8. Geocaching is a fun activity that involves using a website or app to locate hidden containers around the world. Any students interested in participating in this awesome club will have the opportunity to meet new people and learn more about geocaching by going to geocaching as a group. For more information, come to the first meeting this Wednesday. If interested, you can pick up a mock trial information packet in Q1. UCSB Pathways Club meets every Monday at lunch in room T1A. Club members are invited to attend college visits three times per year. Come for snacks and to prepare for college. That's all for us, DP. Gabby and Alyssa signing out. Now over to Caleb with your sports report. Good morning, Chargers. It's Caleb Severson here with your sports report. Hi! Football had a successful Friday night as they beat Rugetti 42-0. The big boys up front led the way for the Chargers as the dominant run game was established early. 15-year-old Angel Flores is a really strong kid who dominated on the O-line Friday. Running behind him was senior Blake Irwin with two rushing scores. 
Also joining in on the rush party were seniors Irvin Miguel and Kellen Roberts, each with a touchdown of their own. On the other side of the ball, defense continued to dominate and didn't allow a single score for the second week in a row. Defensive effort was highlighted by Josh Feldhaus forcing a fumble and Marcellus Gossett picking it up, picking up the loose ball for a touchdown. The Chargers are at home again this Friday against defending CAF champion Camarillo. Our stadium was packed last Friday, man. Too lit. Make sure to fill the gold mine again because this upcoming game is going to be lit like always. Make sure to stay classy. Cross country traveled to Ventura on Friday and senior Christina Rice won her race with a time of 17.20. Rice is no stranger to early success as she opened up her 2015 season with a big victory as well. Way to go, girl. Expect big things from cross country this season. Boys water polo got a big win against Carpinteria on Friday, winning 17-11. Junior Madison Montag had two goals. Junior Harold Smith and freshman Brennan Bingham each scored their first varsity goal. The boys were back at it on Saturday, losing 9-8. Freshman Ethan Parrish had three goals, and junior Jason Tang contributed one goal and three assists. Water Polo bounced back with the 13-10 win, win against Servite. Sophomore Wyatt McElborg had one goal, two assists, and three steals. In their final game of the weekend, the boys lost 13-9 to Marietta Valley. Senior goalkeeper Ben Cable had 13 blocks. Boys Water Polo is now 3-2 and two on the season. Girls Volleyball started strong, winning their first two matches as a slow tournament, but dropped the last three, coming in 17th overall in a highly competitive tournament. Ali Mitzner rejoined the team after a three-week recovery from an injury, providing much-needed help on the back line. Grace Crozier set a smart offense and found the right hitters at the right time. Her energy was key all weekend and getting the team fired up. Volleyball is now 7-4 four, four on the season and has their first league match on Tuesday at home against SM to make sure, so make sure to come out and support. Girls Golf travels to Simi Valley today to compete in the Simi Valley Tournament. Girls Tennis plays a non league match today at San Inez. Now a message from Coach York. Monday and Tuesday, October 3rd, from 3.30 to 6 p.m. on the lower field behind the stadium. If you're a fall sport athlete, you must be on a DP, on a DP team. You must come to see Coach York in H1 before the tryout dates in order to get a list to be eligible to try out after your current season is finished. Please bring cleats, shin guards, socks long enough to hold shin guards, athletic shorts, and a shirt water because they'll be running a lot and print out current grades from Neo. Thank you and good luck to all the tryout. As always, I'm Caleb and we are DP. Now over to Sky and Lindsay with your weather report. Hey DP, what's up? The Sky, because I'm Sky with your weather report. And I'm Lindsay with your surf report. Today's temperatures will be a high of 73 degrees and a low of 55 degrees with 79% humidity, along with 12 mile per hour winds. Tomorrow's temperatures will be a high of 70 degrees and a low of 54 degrees with a 67% humidity, along with 11 mile per hour winds. The surf for today will be a high of 5.4 feet and a low of 0.5 feet, and tomorrow's surf will have a high of 5.7 and a low of 0.2. So, so, so go surf those big ones and shred the gnar, my friends. That's all we have for you today, DP. Have a rad day!